this video, I'm going to address the dryness thing, but basically I figured out why my hair was so dry. I mean, the hair goes in and out based on how you carry it, how you're DCing, what the weather is like, and all these different factors. So it's constantly changing. It's not like, oh, I always do this with my hair and it's always perfect because you don't always stay in the same environment and you don't always use the same product depending on where you're located and the resources you have at your disposal. I might not want to order offline, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, basically this is what happened. I bought a cheap dollar store shampoo and conditioner. We'll never ever do it again. It was a dupe for my favorite herbal essence. It's Holy Holy Grail Coconut Hibiscus Conditioner, the Hello Hydration, right? So I bought this dupe and it had the blue color in it and it had the same ingredients. It even contained argan oil. But when I squeeze out the conditioner, I don't have it. I left it. I have it in the next room. I can't bother to get it. It's like a thinner formulation, so everything about like conditioners and shampoos, formulation matters. It's not just ingredients. So when you find a nice product, stick to it, honestly, because this dollar store thing was just was completely awful, completely disgusting, and I will never do it again. And because of that, my hair really depleted moisture-wise. Like, it was just terrible. Like, how could I think, oh, it has the same ingredients? No, it doesn't matter that it has the same ingredients. It really... Actually, it was just terrible because the formulation is cheap and watered down and not as emollient. And I was like, ugh, ugh, ugh. I will never, ever, ever use a dollar store shampoo and conditioner that's a dollar store brand. Maybe if it had the same Herbal Essences brand in the dollar store, I would buy it, but not a dollar store brand. You know, like, don't use dollar store products for your hair. Unless it's a mainstream brand that you already know and love that they just happen to have in the dollar store. But if it's some generic dollar store brand, just don't, don't take the risk. It's not worth it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later.